Hello everyone, welcome to Face Off Frenzy, the first edition of this new format we're doing. I'm joined today by uh, Andrew the Elk Kelk. How are you, Andrew? Well, as always, I am excellent. Jimmy, you know me. I'm the most exciting. I'm the most wonderful. And when I heard there was going to be a new first in the movie trivia face-off, I said, I had the first match. I had the first sudden death victory. I had to be here for the frenzy. And I've seen how this format looks. I am super excited, Jimmy. I'm super excited as well. Because, you know, elimination style. It's going to be fun. We have six new, brand new players. I, I know some of them uh, have been playing uh, in our leagues recently so that's going to be a fun match yes definitely going to be a fun match out there we've got six guys coming into this matchup and it's going to be fast it's going to be dangerous falling even one point behind could mean the end in this brand new format you do not want your opponents to get ahead of you any lead could be the one that finishes you so we're going to go toe to toe to toe to toe to toe to toe <laughs> in this matchup to see who's going to come out with that big w that's a lot of feet huh Right? Must be either a Hobbit film or Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're right. Let's go over the rules real quick before we meet our players. So, it's going to work like a standard round one uh, in the matches. We're going to have five, uh, well, three rounds with five questions each. Each leader, each round leader will get, will get a chance to eliminate the player. Anyone else during the round. Ooh. Until we get to three players left. And in that case, it's going to go like a standard uh, free-for-all sudden death, if you will. If you if you watch the last free-for-all Shimona match, it's going to go down the same way. You need to have a lead over the two players, then you win. That's as easy as, as that. And then we, if you don't have a lead, then we go until uh, the sun explodes, <laughs> I guess. That's made of players. Are you ready, Elk? I am absolutely ready. Let's get this thing going. Great. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the movie trivia face-off and the first ever face-off frenzy. Introducing your competitors for today. Coming in first, we have Thomas the Warhawk Scully. Welcome, hey Thomas. <laughs> All right, and our next competitor in this matchup is going to be the man himself. He's up on top of the marquee, Brandon, big time. Hey, guys, glad to be here. Good to Great have job. you, Brandon, and you got some competition coming down the pipe for you as we introduce competitor number three, Corey, stop calling me Zachary, also Hollywood, Quinto. Corey Quinto stepping into the ring. We've got a couple competitors out there. Let's keep it going for you, folks. We've got Chris Diaz, also known as The Wolf. That's right. We called The Wolf. That's all you had to say about that one. And entering next, competitor number five, Caleb, the little boat, Boatman. Big fan of Brad Gilmore, I believe. Big fan. And finally, our last competitor in today's face-off frenzy matchup, we've got Kevin Freakazoid. Love that TV show, Moreno. Welcome, Kevin. <laughs> Hello, I'm scared. Please, come on. And guys, don't forget to unmute so we can hear your answers, just in case. Oh, I'm so pumped. First time. First match. As I said, it. Jimmy, this should be fast-paced and very, very exciting. In a normal match, you lose that point, you're thinking, I can come back from this. But in this match, that single point, as I keep emphasizing, is enough to have you on the bottom of the pecking order you do not want to miss. But if I'm, if I'm leading after a round, I will not eliminate a weaker player. I would eliminate someone I know is strong. Because, you know... You want to keep the weaker player till the end so you can eliminate, it. eliminate them. You right? Absolutely, Jimmy. And perhaps that's how we'll see this one go down today. Are you ready to get going, sir? Absolutely. And our competitors, are you ready? Yes. Ready. Ready. All right, gentlemen, please prepare yourselves. Get your boards into position as we start this off with the very first question for the face-off frenzy. Gentlemen, your first question is in the category of comedies. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mark Ellis. In Get Smart, 
What is the agent code name of Dwayne The Rock Johnson's character? Love The Rock. I mean, he's just a very charismatic performer, like somebody else that I know. Can you think of anyone, Jimmy? Uh, Thomas Rissling? Let me guess. All right, gentlemen, we will count you down in five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, boards up. We are going to start with Thomas. I believe it's Agent 23. Agent 23 is correct. Thomas has it. Let's see who else has it. Is correct. Thomas has it. Let's see who else has it. Brandon, let's see what you got. Agent 23. One point each on the board. Very well done, gentlemen. All right. And Hollywood. 10 off. 10 off, 33. Oh. Oh, that's too bad. Too bad. But we're going to keep on going, and let's go to The Wolf. Yeah, did it get a, a hand of mm. name? Did not have it. That's two up, two down. Gentlemen, let's improve the batting average. Caleb. Uh, I knew it was a number, but I said one. <laughs> well, The Rock is certainly number one in our hearts and our minds. <laughs> and let's go to Freakazoid. I'm off by one. I got Agent 24. Agent 24. <laughs> All yeah, right, gentlemen. Off. So that we have hurts. a lead, one point apiece for Warhawk and Big Time. That's a very important lead for those gentlemen. Four more questions to go in round number one. And remember, you want that first place more than anything. Your second question is in the category of 2000s films. Name the 2000s comedy starring Greg Kinnear, Abigail Breslin, Tony Collette, and Alan Arkin. That is a talented group of actors, Jimmy. Uh, I haven't seen a movie. Surprisingly, no, I don't think so. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Let's go with Hollywood. Little Miss Sunshine. That is correct. Chris. Little Miss Sunshine. That is also correct. Mr. Bolt. My favorite movie of 2006, Little Miss Sunshine. All right. Warhawk. Uh, Bowman somehow forgot about The Departed, Little Miss Sunshine. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> Little Miss Sunshine. Also correct. And Kevin. The adorable Little Miss Sunshine. I, in fact, was a little tiny sun. Absolutely. Clean sweep on this question. Well done, all competitors. He drew a little tiny sun as opposed to a little colorblind <laughs> sun, as the movie might have called for. We're going to go on, gentlemen, and get you to question number three. Your question's in movie quotes. Please finish this quote from The Matrix. I'm trying to free your mind, Neo, but I can only show you blank. We're looking for two words. And uh, that was a nice Lawrence Fishburne impression, by the way. Lawrence Fishburne does an impression of the elk, Jimmy. You know this. <sighs> Careful, your head won't fit in most doors. <laughs> well, that was true long before I realized how great I was. <laughs> Two. One. Kevin. Bend down. Yeah. Oh, you, you can say your answer. Oh, okay. Oh, your reality... Oh, that is incorrect. Let's ah. go with Brandon. But I can only show you so much. Oh, I was so incorrect. What? Uh, I can only show you what's inside? No. Uh, Caleb. The truth? Oh, that's a good, good guess. No. The what? The way? You want one word. You got one. And Hollywood. I I already said I also put your reality. I already erased it. Oh, uh, oh, that is a missed opportunity. And gentlemen, you always want to answer when opportunity comes knocking on your answer. The door. Oh, the door. Wow. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep you going through round one. Gentlemen, remember, two questions left. At this point, it's a one-point lead for Warhawk and Big Time. Do I have that correct, Jimmy? Yes, sir. Absolutely. All right, gentlemen, we are going to continue with your next question. In the category of scores and soundtracks, Mark Riley somewhere is listening. The song New Divide by Linkin Park was written for which 
movie soundtrack. Is that one? I have no idea what that was, but I think uh, that beat? you're not making. Oh, money. yeah, you, Jimmy, that was that was kind of good there. So, <laughs> <laughs> one one repeat for Chris, by the way. So, Mr. Elk, please repeat the question. All right, we have a repeat, and gentlemen, your repeat for this question: scores and soundtracks. The song "New Divide" by Linkin Park was written for which movie's soundtrack? I mean, I can go up, pick up my bass or guitar, and can I can play your song if you want. In five seconds, I, I won't have time, but... I always support enough. Canadian artists. You know that, Jimmy. So that's why I'm saying you should not be singing or playing anything. I'm not Goodness Justin gracious. Bieber. You're right. <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. Let's go with Brennan. Uh, Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen. Absolutely. Thomas. I said Transformers Ooh. 07. Ooh. Um, I see a long face there. Oh, did you say me? Oh. Or no. Fake out? No. What? I, did you say Caleb? I don't... Yep. I did. Oh, yeah. Okay, Transformers. I didn't hear. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I, I can't accept that. I cannot. Uh, let's go with Chris, the wolf. Yeah, I did it, get it. Um, I want to break this to side. Hollywood. I thought it was... Are we sure it's not Tron Legacy? <laughs> Ooh. One point for Brandon in the soul lead. Right? Looks like I never, oh, I never, I never Kevin never needs an answer. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> I actually have this, I have three of the soundtracks and four is Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen. Ooh, Sweet. nicely done. Nicely done. All right, so with all of our answers in, it looks like we have, gentlemen, your final question coming in round number one. This is the final chance to get points. Currently, big time leading with three, Warhawk and Freakazoid right at his heels with two. But everybody yes. who doesn't come out with the lead is in danger. Gentlemen, here we go. In the category of 1990s movies, what is the name of Rose's fiance traveling with her and her family in Titanic? We're just looking for the first name. First name of Rose's fiance. You know, this Titanic film, I mean, it took the world by storm. I think I was, saw it in theaters a year and a half after it was released. That's how long it played. I mean, I thought the song that Celine Dion plays is pretty good. That's all I remember. Near, far, Jimmy, wherever you are. Uh, I mean, five, four... Three, one. Let's go with Caleb Boltman. I don't know, Frederick? I know he's played by Billy Zane. Nothing. Oh, let's go with The Wolf. Question? I don't. <laughs> incorrect. Corey? Dan? No, incorrect. Kevin? Michael? Oh, close. Brandon? Um, I, I think I got the spelling wrong, but I said K. C A L E. Oh, I cannot take that. Okay, it's that a different, insane. it's a different spelling and pronunciation, so I cannot. And okay. finally, Warhawk. Uh, Martin. Blank. Martin. No, no, I Martin. Said, yeah, I said Martin. It's Cal. C A L. Oh, oh. Man. I was, uh, <laughs> Superman's <laughs> dog as well. But Jimmy, this brings us to an exciting moment as we close Jeez. out round number one, especially for one competitor out there. The winner of round number one, before we reset the scores, with three points, Brannon, you have a decision to make, sir. You have five fellow competitors, and at this point, you may eliminate any of them from the match. Except me and Elk. Okay. we need to be here. All right, so... Absolutely got nothing personal, boys. Absolutely 20 nothing seconds. Personal yeah. At all. Even though you're not doing right now, good right now, Boatman, I'm getting you out of here because you're going to be good later. <laughs> oh. I knew it. Oh, boy. Nothing personal at all, right? Nothing personal at all. At all. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Caleb. Caleb. Please. Yeah, very please oh, man. Caleb was already kicked out. Nice. Nice move, Brandon. He's the toughest, I think competitor in here but now scores are reset let's move to round two and no perfect rounds so that means 
No, no bonus. Unity. No Pretty immunity. Much. Pretty much. All right. Let's yes. do this. Question number one in the second round in the category of thriller. Buried showed Ryan Reynolds trapped in a coffin. It is set during the events of which war? So it's probably the Roman war with France. I gotta tell you, I love the part in this movie where they stitched his mouth shut and made him shoot laser beams out of his eyes. <laughs> he looks shredded, though, right? And five, yeah. four, three, two, one, pens down. Let's move into Chris, the wolf. The Iraq War. Yes, that is correct. Hollywood. Hey, total guess. Iraq War. <laughs> Freakazoid, with your hands up. I put Iraq. Yeah, I'll take it. Brandon? I didn't have it, guys. Oh, the I Russian know, is cut. I know, I know, look out. The Russian is cut. Warhawk. <laughs> I said World War II. Oh, incorrect. All right, your second question in the categories of the 1970s. Ha 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 ha, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the only one born was John Rocca in this call. Wow. Which call character? I said, can I call which a character? Sorry, I'm sorry. Of course. Uh, which character delivers the final blow to Bruce the Shark in Jaws? We have our own Bruce the Shark in the face off, right? We absolutely so do. Yeah. And just like Spielberg's movie, he was a masterpiece. Gentlemen, five, four, three, two, one, pens down. Freakazoid, with your hands up. Oh, gee. Whoops. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I guess Brody. It is, correct. Brandon. Ah, uh, shoot. <laughs> Another blank board, guys. I'm on a roll now. <laughs> Come on, um, man. Warhawk. I blanked. I said Chief Dooley. I signed mm. that character. Let's go with the wolf. Yeah, I got the actor, not the character Richard tried to. Mm. Hollywood? Wow, oh, you son of a... <laughs> Chief Brody. That is correct. Good job. Third question. Joke. I was going to make a joke and say, can I call a life one? I was going to make a joke. I thought I, gonna, I thought you were going to draw a shark or no, something. No, I was going to make a joke, but I don't know if anybody saw the recent match yet, so I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> oh, Great. maybe a little bit of bad luck for Brandon. Is that karma for the first round? Yep. It Probably. definitely That's is. That's what you get, Brandon. That's what yep. you get. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. The rest of the round goes. <laughs> Category number three is Pixar. Yes. Pixar. Oh, boy. Which actor voiced Mr. Water News in the movie Monsters, Inc.? Yeah, the, the way the cookie crumbles is I would have gotten perfect so far. So <laughs> this is just great. <laughs> Let me tell you, you I missed... too get perfect on all the matches where I don't have to show you my answers. Five, <laughs> four, three, I'm sorry, Gabe. two, <laughs> one. Hands down. Brandon. I... No, I, I know oh. the voice. I knew the actor. Just could not pull it. Oh, that hurts. Come that on. It really hurts, man. <laughs> Wahawk. Good grief. Uh, Paul Newman. That's not it. Oh, that's incorrect. Uh, Hollywood. I kidnapped a thousand children before I let this company die. James Coburn. Oh. That is correct. Taking the oh. lead. And the wolf. <clears throat> that didn't get it. That way. Don't break off. Freakazoid. <laughs> I got it asked. Oh, Damn. So. Corey, Man. Corey Quinters in the lead now. Yeah. It's James Coburn. That is way to, go, way to go, Corey. I have just a feeling the, we might know how this wrong. match turns out this I round. Wrong one. I just need to wake up. And I'm up. <laughs> <laughs> you see now, you can have a good round then, well, crab the bed in the next one. And then, and then you can have my round. <laughs> oh, God. Surely this category, surely oh, this category would never bite me in the butt in the future. Surely it would never. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Second to last question, or like the other, guys, the other guy says, penultimate question. Penultimate? Yes, 
Directors is the category. Who directed Mission Impossible 2? You big is fan that of the one Mission. where uh, Tom Cruise has long hair? That yeah, is one. definitely the one. Yeah, they go short hair, long hair, short hair, long hair, short hair, short hair. I'm not is jealous, that the one though. Where Five. You get two more recycles. Three. Yeah, that's the one. Two. One. Pens down. Let's go with uh, Chris, the wolf. The one that all the, the director that gave all the pigeon, John Chu. <laughs> Oh, let me see that uh, board again, please. Yes. John, John, oh, that is that incorrect. John Chu is incorrect. Oh, that's a, a JT man. Ooh, a JT answer. Very close. Very close. Hollywood. John Woo. Thank you. Absolutely. Freakazoid. Uh, we claimed John Woo. I have to draw a, a, a lighter being <laughs> getting rid of it. Yes, Brandon, can you break the streak? I think I spelled his name wrong, but it's John Wu. Uh, I'll take that. Can, okay. can you take it? All right. Phonetically, it, it, it sounds the same. Uh, Warhawk. Uh, it's John Wu. Correct. All right. Oof. That was a, a mess. So, Curry's in the lead with four, potentially for a perfect round. And the go, in the next round. And remember, Ooh. Corey, if you manage a perfect round in round number two, you will be immune from elimination in the third round. Yes, sir. Next next category, one of my favorites, James Bond. Da -da -da. That guy is in suits. That guy. Oh, you, Kalinowski. Who's BFF with Kalinowski? <laughs> Thanks. Well, question is, who performed the song You Know My Name? For the movie Casino Royale. Oh. Some Dang really, it. really great theme songs in the history of Bond. I remember I had a, a few of those soundtracks when I was younger. It's definitely, this one is my favorite. That's why I wrote the question. Five, four, three, two, one, pens down. All right, let's go with uh, Thomas. Action for Life, boys. Chris Cornell. Rip, Chris Cornell, that is correct. Mr. Chris the Wolf. Didn't get it. Oh, I'm like the box. Hollywood. For the background. Chris Cornell. Thank you so much, Mike. Booyah. <laughs> Perfect round. Perfect Good round. Freakazoid. The amazing Chris Cornell. Yes, sir. And Brandon. Nope. Aww. I know. All right. No. Hollywood, you have both a perfect round. That means you may And you also have to pick a player to be eliminated. I guess you, you have 20 we, seconds we, to this. Can, can we get a score update first, or do I have to pick someone right now? Oh, I'll give you the score. Uh, you have five. Good job. Freakazoid <laughs> has four. Uh, Warhawk has two. Chris and Brandon have both one. Ooh. Oh, I did have one. That's right. Forgot. And Caleb, <laughs> Caleb is perfect. After <laughs> Actually, Caleb's a pretty smart guy. He's showing me his answers over here, and I would definitely Ooh, steal them if I were playing against him in a match. Who do I want to get rid of next? Remember, Sorry, myself Sorry, and Jimmy, we're immune, so we get to stay. Sorry, I hate to do this to your buddy. Sorry, Brandon. You gotta go. And he comes right Wait, back. Yeah, sorry, dude. Brandon, go. unfortunately, me? eliminated okay. from the frenzy. That's all right, guys. Hard feelings, but that's... May have had a target on his back for no, that first round. No, don't be sorry. <laughs> don't be sorry, man. That's, that's karma. And, uh, it is. Yeah. I'm going to pretend that's like good, I'm man. not happy. I'm <laughs> good job. It's all in good fun, right. man. Good job, yeah. Corey. So, Corey, you're now immune, but you can to have uh, another opportunity to pick a player to be eliminated and go to the oh. final three. So, even if I... And also, maybe... So even if I come so in last, I'm still immune, or does that not happen? Even if you come in last, you will not be eligible for elimination in the next round, which means you can take the round off if you don't want to go for that extra point at the end, because <laughs> oh, you are definitely making the final round. Use the washroom if you want, for nah, all I'll, that matters. Nah, I'll I'll I'd go for the points. <laughs> all right, Elk. 
go on for round three. All right, gentlemen, an interesting decision there. Kind of surprised. Freakazord with four points, not targeted by the elimination, but Brandon is out, which means we are down to four. And gentlemen, it just keeps coming until one man is left standing. Let's keep it going with your next category. That is going to be 1980s movies, a decade I'm very familiar with. The trio from Ghostbusters are scientists in which university at the beginning of the movie? I gotta do it. Repeat the question? Oh. We have a repeat did? of the question. Kevin. All right, and he has taken the repeat down. Gentlemen, your question once again. The trio from Ghostbusters are scientists in which university at the beginning of the movie? Oh, I'll do it again. <laughs> We've spoken about the singing, Jimmy. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. All right. I hope I hit the right one. Is it Columbia? It is. Good work. Hey, did you say it is? Because I. Uh, Chris, the wolf. But you broke up. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. You're right. Oh, it is. Chris, the wolf. What do you have? We can't Looks hear like you. Nothing. 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 Freak us off. I got NYU. That was enough. <laughs> and Thomas. Oh, okay. Up the coin, oh. and I got, and I picked no. Columbia. Wait. Uh, um, Chris had the answer, so Thomas has it as well. I, I got Great. It. All good, Chris. We got you. All right, gentlemen. That's one point for a couple of you out there. Remember, you want to get every one of these. Think very carefully. Use a repeat if you need it. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, your next question. In the category of Oscar movies, Daniel Day-Lewis, I never heard of this guy, won three Best Oscar, uh, best Actor Oscars in the course of his career. Name two movies for which he won. Do you know his brother, Daniel Knight-Lewis? Uh, he's the black sheep of the family, or the Dark Knight, as they call it. <laughs> Five. Maybe Dark Ring Dark. Four. Three... Two and one. Pens down. We will go to Mr. Thomas Scully first. There will be Blood and Lincoln. That is correct. Those are two of the films. We are going next to Chris. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Chris the Wolf. I didn't hear anything. I heard him say there will be Blood well, and Lincoln. I thought I heard yeah. parts of it. I heard, I heard Lincoln. Him say both. I heard him say both. I heard it both as well. I heard both. Okay, so we'll go with that one. Da, da, da. Hollywood. I was going to write There Will Be Blood, but I didn't have enough time, but I did put My Left Foot and Lincoln. That is also correct. Hollywood gets the point. And we have Freakazoid remaining. My Left Foot and Lincoln. Yes, everyone sir. gets that one correct. I guess everyone else has, in fact, heard of this Day-Lewis character who's causing so much <laughs> trouble. John oh. Uh, Chris is still lagging. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, you look good now. Can you talk a bit, Chris, just to... Yep. All right, gentlemen, we've got another question for you. You're third in this round. Everybody doing well so far. Tarantino movies. Tarantino movies. Which... Tarantino release was the third to be fully directed by the famous director. One of my favorites. Have you seen uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Yes, I did get a chance to go out and see it. It's a very interesting watch. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Hollywood. Jackie Brown. Correct with Jackie Brown. Let's go to Chris the Wolf. Jackie. 
That is also Jackie correct. Jackie Brown, correct. We're going to go to Warhawk. Jackie Brown. Very good. And Freakazoid. Jackie Brown. Clean sweep. All right. Loving this round so far. I know one man is probably very glad to be safe at this moment. We're going to move on to your next question <laughs> in the category of the 2010s. The 2010s is your category. What is the title of the sequel to 2008's Journey to the Center of the Earth? Looking for the full title. I'll give him an extra five on this one. Got to write out a yep. whole movie title and all. Have you seen the original? I don't know that I actually got the chance to check this one out, but I think there might have been another one by the same name. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Warhawk. Uh, I believe it's Journey to the Lost Island. Oh, JT, answer once again. Uh, moving on, Chris the Wolf. Journey to the center of the Earth to the mysterious island. We cannot accept we cannot that. Cannot accept that either for a very specific reason. Uh, Hollywood. Journey to the mysterious island. That there is the correct answer. Freakazoid. Journey to the mystery, uh, the mysterious island. Well oh, incredible. done. Rap, I, I... You got it. Right. Wow, that's interesting. Curry is in the lead with four. Everyone else has three. So we could be all tied up going in the final question. Which would be very After interesting indeed. Gentlemen, your final question in this round. Very important question for all of you. In the category of movie release dates. Movie release date. Scott Mance is alive. In what year was Days of Thunder released? And I'm pretty sure Caleb and Brandon are both perfect again. Actually, no. No, I didn't know the the, the first one. Mysterious Island? Uh, yeah, I've actually known every answer so far. Five. So, yeah. Four. <laughs> Can you repeat the question, please? Repeat. The question, Repeating please? the question. For Hollywood. Oh, no, no, it wasn't me. It was for me. It was for Warhawk. Oh. Sorry. No problem, Warhawk. Here's your repeated question. What year was Days of Thunder released? This Is could that be a, a four movie? <laughs> Probably the next one after Love and Thunder. Wow. Five, yeah. four, Love and the repeat use. Three, two, one, pens down. Let's see what it does. Freakazoid. 1998. Oh. Correct. Thomas. Yeah. Uh, 1990? Yes, sir. Good use Correct. of the repeat there. 1990. Spot on. The Wolf? No, one, 1987. Oh. Close. And Hollywood for another perfect round? 92. Oh, oh. He misses. <laughs> so we have a tie after this round. Thomas and Curry, you need to write down a name on your and that player will be eliminated if you have both the same name. Else you're going to have to discuss and be all personal while eliminating someone. <laughs> Jimmy, it looks like uh, no, no real need for the immunity in this round, but certainly an interesting situation we've got going here. Do they both pick the same person on their own? Do they Let's both think with. the same person is the threat? They all have a name. Let's see what Corey has. Chris. That is Chris. And Thomas, who do you I have? went the other way with uh, Freakazoid. Oh, wow. it's tied up. <laughs> oh, what do we do? All right, gentlemen, you will be given another 20 seconds. If one of you can agree to switch your decision, the elimination will stand. If not, somebody else is going to have to make that call for you. Uh, we'll ask Corey. Caleb and Brandon. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's going to get personal. That, oh. Remember that Kevin got four in that round, um, so I believe he scored more points overall. So I think he'd be the biggest threat. Make a good call. I mean, how many did? I mean, I uh, honestly, I think they tied almost. Did they? Well, the previous round before this, uh, uh, Kevin got four. All right, and you had the and, and, right. and you had the five. 
Okay, then I'll take that word. I'll take that word for you. Okay. All right. Look, looks like we have a decision. So guys, Hi, Kevin. Fun. All right. Uh, and Freakazoid unfortunately eliminated from the matchup, but it was I good. I curse you all. I curse you all. <laughs> been very exciting so far. Obviously, every round a must-win round in this new format, Jimmy. And so far, I'm really, really loving what it's getting out of these competitors. I, I can't wait to play myself, even if I'm going to get <laughs> pummeled. Well, don't worry, Jimmy. I'll go easy on you and make you think that you have a chance of winning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Small reminder. It's a sudden death round. So if you trail, you're out, pretty much. <laughs> and no perfect round last round. So nobody going into this with the lead. Remember, gentlemen, all you want to do is not fall behind. If you fall behind and one competitor is ahead of everyone else, they will win the match. If two competitors are tied ahead of you, then you will still be eliminated from the next question. Here we go. Every question matters right. in this fifth and final round. Gentlemen, your category is dramas. Name the movie where Vince Vaughn plays a murderous stepfather to John Travolta's character's son. Bam, bam, bam. This is That's bad. a drama, all right. Yeah, that, not 100% on that one, man. That's and a... no, I have no idea. Tough start. I, there. I, know, I've, I know I've seen it. Gentlemen, five. Well, I've seen it. Four. If I have three, if three. I'm pretty this. sure it's not Two. Ball, though. We have a repeat. <laughs> repeat for the wolf. Second. Your second repeat. repeat. Gentlemen, name the movie. Where Vince Vaughn plays a murderous stepfather to John Travolta's character's son. I'm like 90% sure it's not Dodgeball. Lots of repeats in this one. I'm thinking How that... How dare you? I'm like it's 110% sure it's not Dodgeball. Five. Four. <laughs> you never know. Three, two, and one. Let's go to the wolf. Drag the con to country. <laughs> No, that is not that correct. Isn't correct. Hollywood. Yeah. Hope this is it. Is it Be Cool? It is not <laughs> Be oh, Cool. Oh, and the Warhawk. For the win? Uh, the the uh. stepfather. No. <laughs> All players incorrect. We were looking for the answer. Domestic disturbance, gentlemen. Domestic uh. disturbance moving on immediately to your next question. No time to rest <laughs> when you're in a frenzy. <laughs> what the hell? Category is going to be fantasy sci-fi. Fantasy sci-fi. In the fifth element, what is the first and last name of Bruce Willis's character? Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I think. I think I would have gotten this one, but I am a big fan of Me Luke Besson's work. I've More, never seen this movie. That's oh, a great movie, Caleb. You gotta watch it. I actually hate this movie. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. All right, we will go with... Let's start with Thomas this time. Uh, Malcolm Lee. Malcolm Lee is incorrect. Let's go to the wolf. Dedicating. Didn't Dedicating. have the answer, and Hollywood, do you have it? Corbin Dallas. Yes! Corbin Dallas is the correct <laughs> answer, and ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the first ever That's it? <laughs> face off That's it. frenzy sudden death oh. knockout of both of his opponents congratulations to you that's right mr quinto hollywood yeah. with a Woo! score of one point well done Corey. <laughs> one point good job that is going to be the lowest well winning score for any competitor in face off <laughs> history for sure <laughs> <laughs> that is a first that I could not claim credit for. Jimmy, we had a real uh, exciting match. Lots of back and forth between the competitors. We saw the beginnings of the strategy of the face-off frenzy taking place. People deciding, who's the strongest competitor? Who do I take out so I have a better chance moving forward? But in the end, there can be only one winner. Once again, congratulations. It's, it's <laughs> Zach, right? Zach was your name? Mr. Quinto oh, doing a great job <laughs> in that matchup, and he is our first ever frenzy winner. All right, face off fanatics. It's not the Elks Lodge, but of course you are here with the Elk because you demanded just a little bit more of me. Aren't you smart? We've got our winner of today's match, Corey Quinto. Hollywood shines bright as always. Corey, congratulations. The winner of the first ever face off frenzy match, and welcome. Thank you. It's also nice to be in the Elks Lodge. I don't have any cocoa, but I have water, unfortunately. 
Well, the Elks Lodge is welcoming to all people, but especially winners. Remember, Sunny D is for winners, folks. And after that first matchup, I mean, there's a lot to talk about in this one. I thought you played a great game. Obviously put up some good points there. But if you were to compete in another frenzy going forward, do you think there's a particular strategy you're going to look for in who you eliminate, trying to get those perfect rounds and get that bonus for the next one? Uh, well, I, I don't know about strategy. So we'll have to think. it's really about like who's the bigger threat when it comes to these games. I'm, I'm going to probably figure out the strategy that goes along. I was debating whether or not 90s and 92 on that release date question and got wrong. So I'm, go I'm coming for that bonus point. That's what I want. I want that bonus point. So I'm definitely coming back for that bonus. Absolutely no need for the bonus point today. You are a man of many talents, as evidenced by Corey's quick movie reviews. I believe they can find you at CQ Hollywood, all over the internet, Facebook, on all sorts of other places like that. So check out what Corey's doing out there. And hey, you got to feel good about this one. A man who knows a bit about first, I'll give you some advice. Cherish it, hold on to it, and shove it in the faces of everybody else who comes after you, <laughs> because that's... You're right, as the winner of today's matchup. The Face-Off Frenzy's first ever victor. Anything else to say before we get out of here, Corey? Uh, no, this was a lot of fun. And uh, I, want, I, I want to just say to Kevin and Chris, Brennan, Thomas, for playing a great game, and Bowman for stepping in at the last second. Uh, you got, Everybody played a really great game. Uh, if you, I would love to come back if you guys would want me. So I'm always around. I love to play these games. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I just... To come here in a full, I've been wanting to come into movie trivia face off for a while, and I'm glad, and I'm glad this is the, a good way to make a debut. So, uh, thanks, for, thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure having you here. Thank you very much, Corey Hollywood Quinto. He is the man today. He's at the top of the mountain, and the elk, of course, always standing tall over everybody else. Thank you for joining us today for the face off frenzy. It's fast, it's furious, it's a fracas, a free for can't use that one. It's a fight to the finish. We all love the Schmodown, so thank you to them, and thank you to you, Hollywood. Thank you to my, my friend Jimmy Deary on the desk as well today. If you're looking to get in that face-off frenzy match, one more reminder, folks. Got to check it out on the Discord channels. We are going to be looking for our next six competitors. Will it be you taking the victory? Let's go ahead and take it, take it on out of here. Thank you, and have a good night. Yep. All right, and this has been an amazing matchup. The very first ever face-off frenzy. We're super excited about this match format. Let us know what you thought out there, face-off fanatics. Put it in the comments. Talk to us in the Discord server. We're always available. We had six amazing competitors, and the eliminations come fast and furious in the frenzy. Lots of strategy. Who do you take out? Who do you keep with you? Getting those bonuses early in the early rounds can also be incredibly helpful. Didn't come up in this one, but I expect we'll see it real soon i want to thank you to all of our competitors out there we got six great guys in this matchup they all fought for it they all went to the end of the match thinking one more question that's what i need to win this whole thing so our winner today is of course hollywood hollywood up on top there's a new story we've never heard before when will hollywood get a break today's the final of the day jimmy it's been wonderful to be here on the desk with you for this matchup and look forward to more of it soon folks if you want to play in the face off frenzy watch our scheduling channel we will be throwing out those requests and you can be in the next matchup right here can you take it to the end of a frenzy will you be the last man standing today it was hollywood tomorrow it could be you what do you say jimmy uh, I'd buy that for a dollar. You're right. <laughs> That's a mobile cop. Fantastic reference from this man, of course, because he's Canadian like me. All the best people are Canadian. Remember that, folks. We're taking it out right now, but thank you so much for watching. Check out the movie Trivia Face Off. Lots of matches dropping your way, lots of excitement. New Face Off Frenzy coming your way real soon. As always, have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time right here.